I would like to welcome you to my channel, That Middle Age Lady. My name is Denise, and in today's video, I wanted to do a quick update to a previous video I had uploaded in regards to having my estrogen or my estradiol level tested when I went in for my physical this time last year. Back then, I was starting to display the symptoms of vaginal atrophy without even knowing what vaginal atrophy was at that time, being extreme burning in my vagina and some of the urinary symptoms being a couple different UTIs and then some frequency and some urgency as well. I was postmenopausal for about four years at that time, so I knew something was going on with my body, didn't know quite what it was, so decided that when I went in for my annual physical that I was going to request for my physician to go ahead and test my estradiol level when she was doing my other blood workup as well. And it ended up coming back that my estrogen or my estradiol level was 15. The normal range for a postmenopausal woman should be zero to 30. So at 15, mine was right smack dab in the middle. And then a short time later, I ended up getting diagnosed with a vaginal atrophy and was put on Vagifem. And after being on it for eight months, it was time for me to go ahead and go back in for my next physical, which was just a couple weeks ago. And I requested for my physician to go ahead and test my estrogen or my estradiol level again just because I was very curious to know whether or not being on the Vagifem for the past eight months did anything to either raise that level, maybe even lower that level, or where exactly it was going to be. Just got the test results back, and once again, it came back at 15. And so that says to me that according to everything I've read and everything I've been told, using Vagifem stays pretty much localized to the vagina, with very little of it making it systemically throughout the body or into the bloodstream. And considering this is a blood test that was performed and it stayed exactly the same, I have to believe that that is correct and that very little of it actually gets absorbed into the bloodstream. Obviously, I'm not a doctor and I can't say if that would be the case for you as well. But in my particular case, you know, after being on the Vagifem for eight months, it has stayed exactly the same. Just a side note, I did go down from using the Vagifem from twice a week to once a week about three months ago. And I did so because not only according to my gynecologist, but everything I've read through all the research I've done, the least amount of estrogen we put into our bodies for the least amount of time is always best, even when it's just staying localized to the vagina. So I figured, why use it twice a week if I can go down to using it once a week and still yield the same results? And so I'm not sure if I would have been taking it twice a week for the past three months, if that would have changed this estradiol level, but I highly doubt it mainly because three months isn't a very long time. And because the fact that it is a such an ultra low dose, I just don't see that it would have made really any kind of a difference. And I think it would have been 15 regardless. And so I just wanted to put that out there. The other thing I wanted to make sure and mention for those of you who might not be familiar with this, but products like Vagifem and Premarin Vaginal Cream are supposed to stay localized to the vagina with very little of it entering the bloodstream which is why you probably won't see that big of a difference in your estradiol level when using those products. But if you're using the oral dose of the hormone replacement therapy, that is when that product is supposed to systemically go throughout your body and also enter your bloodstream because it needs to in order to treat the symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, um, combat heart disease and osteoporosis. And so it has to go all throughout the body and into the bloodstream in order for that to help with those symptoms. And so if you're on the oral dose and you go to have your estradiol level checked, then chances are it's going to be higher than that postmenopausal range of zero to 30 because it is entering the bloodstream. According to all the research I've done, the normal range for somebody who is on an oral hormone replacement therapy is anywhere from 30 to 400. Now I realize that's pretty broad. That's you know quite a big difference between it. And I'm not sure what they consider optimal in that particular range, but that is also the range for a premenopausal woman as well. And so again, just wanted to put that out there just in case you take the oral dose and you go to have your estradiol tested and it's a lot higher than 30, that's because it goes all throughout the body and into the bloodstream. And so if you are a woman who would like to have your estradiol level tested, but you don't want to go through your doctor, there are online uh, test kits that you can have sent to your home and you can do it, you know, in the privacy of your own home. According to what I read, you just have to poke your finger and then I'm not sure if it's going to be like a slide or a little vial. Then you might have to squeeze your finger and put a little blood into and then you would send it out to the lab. The lab would then test it and then give you your test results. I'm not sure how much it is. I haven't really looked into it. 
But if you're somebody who doesn't want to go through your doctor, but you're curious what your estradiol level is, then that might be something that you could look into. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give everybody that update and let you know that my estradiol level back before I was diagnosed with the vaginal atrophy and put on Vagifem was the same as it is today after being on the Vagifem for about eight months and being postmenopausal for about five years now. I'm curious if anybody else has had their estradiol level tested, their blood test done as well to see what your results would be. Just kind of compare and see, you know, whatever everybody else's level is coming back as as well, how close it is to that 15 mark. So if you're somebody who has had that done, I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know and let other women know as well. Just kind of share our individual stories here and try and see how close we are to each other. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them and I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. Other than that, I just want to thank you so much for joining me today and I will look forward to seeing you next time.